Okay, my last video, uh, we were walking around, we had Tilly, and we had these other dogs out here, and I actually got in a little bit of trouble, <laughs> because uh, I, I forget Winnie's name, right? So to see that little yellow lab puppy, I kept saying, oh, that little yellow lab puppy, and so of course her owner, she was like, Stoney, that dog's name's Winnie. All right, all right, all right, look, I'm old, I'm an old man, I drink too much. It's uh, hard for me to, you know, remember everything, okay? So, but uh, if you remember, last week what we were doing is uh, I was walking Tilly around and showing you, you know, how like these dogs, like this, pro this process of mine, it's like a giant Montessori. You know, I shape the environment, the environment shapes the dogs. You know, I'm only a small part, but I was showing you how, how Tilly was influencing Winnie. Well, we're going to go on and go down that a little bit farther because today we've got Tilly and we've got Winnie and we've got a couple of new lab puppies, right? So I'm going to do what I did last week and work with Tilly. And uh, Winnie's going to follow along, of course, right? And when Winnie follows along with Tilly, she's going to get rewarded, which is awesome. But if you'll look down here, if you can see, as my cameraman can get it, I got a brand new dog. Her name's Sadie, right? So <laughs> Tilly's going to be the best. Winnie's catching on pretty good. Sadie's probably just going to walk around and uh, cause trouble. And I've got another dog, Harley. Come here, buddy. It's also just got here and he's going to probably walk around and have a little bit of trouble. But I just thought you might find it interesting to see how this uh, uh, process works. And then of course, Henry, come on. Oh, get up here, Henry. And of course, everybody knows Henry. This is my old dog. So this is my primo mentor dog right here. <laughs> Tilly is my newest apprentice mentor dog just because she's doing really great. Winnie's following along pretty well. Sadie just got here and Harley just got here, so they're going to be running around picking her nose in class probably, okay? So let's go. Come on, Tilly. Very nice. So let's work on our basic vocabulary. Hup. Very nice. Hup. And you'll notice I don't have to use too awful many treats with Winnie, because, uh, with Tilly, because she's, she's already got, getting to the point to where she understands the relationship between work and getting off of work, you know? So like when I use those treats on these dogs in the beginning, wait. What I have to do is uh, I have to use the treats like quickly enough so that their attention span like uh, doesn't have a chance to, 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 you know, have a go to pieces. So I'll give her a treat on these pause points. Remember what we're going to do. Come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on. Up, up, up. Oh, it's a very nice dogs. Up, up, up. Get them excited so that we can calm them down. Good dogs. Everybody's kind of following along. Here comes Winnie. Say, hey, I appreciate it. Oh, Henry's back there. Come on, Tilly. Up, up, up. Very nice. Wait. Very nice. Here's Sadie. Sadie comes up. I say, hey, I appreciate you coming to class, even if you're not paying attention too much. Very nice. Wait. Now, Tilly is 15 weeks old, and Sadie is uh, just a little bit younger, you know. Uh, but she's at a prime age to start getting moving in the right direction. See how quickly this dog has started following along with this dog? Now, dog training standards have to be subjective. The dogs aren't gonna, you know, hit the same metrics. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to kind of pay them based on how hard they're trying, right? So right now, right, this dog is trying, you know, fairly hard to sit up here on this table or on this dog walk. This dog's trying super hard just to sit here and keep her feet on the ground, okay? They're, even though this one is doing a, a more complex activity, they're both probably trying about the same level. It's, this dog might even be trying a little harder. She just doesn't have as much experience. And Winnie's doing pretty good. Easy. Now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to get back on my table. And uh, if, uh, if I can, then what I'd like to have happen is I'd like to have Wendy come over and say, Hey, Stoney, what about me? Is it my turn to work? You know? And uh, if I do these things right, you know, I don't have to like say, here, Winnie, come here, let's do obedience training. If I do these things right, then the dog comes over and asks me, hey, Stoney, is it my turn yet? Is it my turn yet? Look at this dog. Does it look like I'm making that dog do a lot of stuff? And notice how I dropped that treat and this dog didn't get up and go, go over it, go after it. That's because this dog is starting to really internalize the concept of access through indirect action. I work to get access to what I want. I don't just, you know, take it. So here's Winnie. Winnie's doing pretty well. Her little leash on. Oh, and here comes Harley. Now, you guys have all known a Harley in your life. You've all known one, you know, you're sitting in class and you're trying to do your homework and, uh, you know, he's flicking paper footballs at you or blowing spitballs at you or something. So these guys are over here trying to work and do their homework and Harley just rolls up with a stick. <laughs> Harley says, look, that's enough work and let's get to playing. 
you know. And I don't, I don't mind that. That's okay. He hasn't been here very long. Come on, Winnie. Let's show Harley how to do some work. Good dog. Now everybody's following along. Oh, that's a good dog, Winnie. And you'll you notice I have to give Winnie more treats than I have to give Tilly. Okay, that's because Winnie has not been in the system as long, and her attention span is not as well developed. I'm still getting basically the same level of behavior. Uh, I'm just having to pay her a little bit more, and that's okay. You know, look at Tilly. Tilly knows. Winnie knows. And Sadie's trying to figure it out. And look at Harley. He has dropped his stick and decided he might do a little work also. Very nice. Go on, Tilly. You can't be the star of every video. Get out of the way, nerd. Good. Come, Come on, on, let's Winnie. go. You can do it. Come on, show these other dogs who can do these things the best. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Up. Oh, good girl. Wait. Oh, so Winnie's doing things perfectly. Appreciate that. There's Tilly leading the way. Here's Sadie, who just got here. And Harley. And Fletch. Good. Now, see, so this dog last week was the one that was doing it. Winnie didn't know how to do it, and she was just following along. Now, Tilly does it pretty much perfectly. Winnie's doing it pretty well, and these guys are just following along. You see what I'm always talking about with the mentor dogs and the learning by doing, guys. You just got to get out there, and you got to put your work in. And you'll notice that today, it's raining. So you just take any regular set of... Uh, you know, uh, obstacles that you're using in your real life, hey, when it's raining, they're harder. So again, you have to make your objective, you have to make your uh, requirements for the dog subjective, not objective. Like, so they have to change. They have to change in relation to what's going on in the environment, uh, both from a physical standpoint and from a social standpoint, like with all these other dogs, or there could be kids around or whatever. Come on, Winnie. Be careful. Easy. Wait. Good. Here's Sadie following along, which is awesome. Here's Harley. He's dropped a stick. There's Winnie saying, I appreciate it. Winnie's just saying, come on, let me back up there. I'm the best at it. Very nice. Good. And I know I keep messing these names up, guys. Just, just give me a break. Good girl. Up, up. Oh, very nice. Can you get up here and stay for a second? Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. And now you'll notice, look, I'm not bossing Tilly and making Tilly get up here and stay with Winnie. You know, Winnie has to get up there and stay because I, you know, I put this, uh, I put the, she has the leash on. Tilly's doing this voluntarily. And that's what we're really after in my dog training style, my, my system, I guess you would call it, is I want the dogs to make good decisions all on their own. I'm all about autonomous behavior selection, right? I want these dogs to look at the environment and make the choice that's appropriate for that environment. Yep. My goal isn't to give you a dog that does what you tell it. My goal is to help you have a dog that doesn't need to be told what to do. So it's pretty simple guys. Get your puppies out, learn by doing, you know, get you some adventure training in and show them how to behave in different situations. Show them how that behaving well leads to getting more attention, more exercise, more outside time. And if you have an older dog, always use that older dog to help you set the emotional stage for your young puppy's development. All right, good luck. That's all there is to training.